It's the most wonderful time of the year. Alright, why are you in such a good mood? Dave, it's Christmas! And you know what that means. CPM December? No! Christmas is all about spreading joy and cheer to the masses. Where's your Christmas spirit? The only Christmas spirit I have is a bottle of JD's from my nan. Come to Varrock with me, we can hand out presents to all the kids there, and that'll get you in the mood. You may be used to giving away GP when you lose a challenge, Jen, but I'll be giving nothing to anyone. One of the best things in life, Dave, is giving. Well, <laughs> receiving's alright as well, because... I mean, you can give or receive, it's 2020, you can do what you want, there's, there's nothing wrong with that. I just personally prefer... Too much fucking info. Right, let's just go then. There you go, little one. See, Dave? How good's this? I just gave a fucking D skim to a seven-year-old. He's probably not even done monkey madness. Don't worry about it. Could we just go for a pint at Christmas like normal people? You wouldn't make a very good Sansa, would you? You'd definitely get the sack. Get it? Presents? Sack? I'm going the boozer. We've not even had a snowball fight yet. Eat. Shit, Dave, we we up. Police are looking for two males last seen in the Barrack Centre area on suspicion of arming minors. It was raised earlier this evening after a seven-year-old was found wandering around with a dragon scimitar. No shit. They also pelted snowballs at local children, breaking one of their noses. Little Betty will never smell again. I fucking told you probably done the quest. Who the fuck is this kid? Rendy? <laughs> shit, it's the fucking Nino. Dave, run! Hello everybody, my name is Jensen and welcome to Old School Ruin Escape Challenges episode number 146. I'm here with David. What's up? What's up? What's up? <laughs> In episode 146 of Old School Ruin Escape Challenges, we are going to be doing 8 hours of the Twisted League, Dave. Dave, we're a bit late to the party, but we're doing it. Listen, doesn't matter if you're late to the party, as long as you fucking attend when it gets good, you know what I mean? That's the, no that's... tons of a toe, so no party. Exactly. Yeah. Dave, rules are going to be on the screen right now. We're going to spend eight hours in Zaya. It's basically a life fucking sentence, David. Um, oh, I mean, I don't think I've spent eight hours in Zaya on the main game, never mind on the bloody Twisted League. Um, the objective is in eight hours to get the most league points possible. If you don't know the game mode, uh, you get tasks which you complete which you then get league points for. The task can range from anything from getting certain levels, um, pickpocketing certain NPCs. You get the gist of things. Obviously, we've got to strategize. Think of a way to get the most points possible in that eight hours. Other than that, Dave, uh, there's not really a lot to go through, to be honest with you. It's a pretty straightforward one. Um, just, well, we're starting fresh, aren't we? So it kind of makes sense. We're starting fresh, so um, I'll give you eight hours, lad. And uh, good luck, because you're not winning this one. Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Fatoso, and welcome to the Twisted League. The Twisted Doughball League, right, boys and girls. As you can see in the chat box, I've had one um, nice welcome to, to Twisted League. One, not so nice. Um, in terms of familiarity with the league, um, I, I understand what it's all about. Do I have a strategy in place? Uh, a, a little bit. This is the worst league they could do, Zaya. I, I despise the fucking thing. I get a clue scroll in this shithole. It's getting fucking dropped. To start us off, obviously we got to pick what relic we were going to go for. Um, I'm not an idiot. I've gone for Endless Endurance, which will make me last longer in bed. Oh, here we go. We get to pick our first relic. I mean, Endless Endurance is already talking to me. Oh, hello there! Boys, Endless Endurance, don't even care. I'm selecting this as my first one. Ooh. Ooh, okay. So I think what I'm going to do, just have a little look around the map, get a plan going, and I'm just going to jump into it. I mean, we've got eight hours to get the most points that we can. <laughs> Bags of time. The first task we're going to do is get 20 thieving, just because it's an easy one. I think if we get, like, 20 in the majority of skills that we can then it's going to save us a lot of time. I think what, I, I do want to go for the Slayer approach, if possible, just for combat. I mean, I'm not a skiller. I don't want a skill. I want the content. I want the clue scrolls. I know it's not how much money we make. It's how many how many relic points we get, but... Whoa, fuck off. He's level 21. He's level 21. Mate, back the fuck up. And here we have a 20 thieving. League task. Thank you. Do you have to collect anything or claim points? 
Ten. I've got ten. I mean, the best way to go around this is just try and rack up as many level 20s as we can. That way, we can hit all the easy uh, tasks. For example, you see, 20 attack, blah, 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 blah. I think that's what we're going to go for to start off with. Uh, and also, you do get points from doing quests as well. So, that's... I think that's the best way to do. Client Karen, 10 points. Yeah, sweet. That's what we're going to do. Right, so we just over half an hour in. This took a little bit longer than I thought it was going to take, but I, I was going to do it anyway, so I think it's worth it. Just going to finish burying the rest of these bones, and there's 20 prayer. Also flat out, 20 attack, 20 strength, 20 defense, and 22 HP. If we go into our task now and we claim our points, we're looking at about 50 points, boys and girls. You know what I mean? Welcome to Jensen. 50 points in half an hour. Double that. 100 an hour. I'm going for 800 points here. Five feet with only one fail. My fucking god, mate. Don't mind me. I'm just uh, getting this bread. And that, fellow adventurers, is what I like to call another 10 bloody points. Do you know what I mean? Gonna spend a little bit of while thieving some silk. We can actually sell this back to the guy after I think it's like 20 minutes or, or 30 minutes for some GP. So uh, once we've got, we'll probably go for 40 thieving for the medium task completion for the points. Uh, bank all the silk we get and then go and do Client of Karend for the two XP lamps. That's the plan, boys and girls. I bet Jen's there now like this, like... Bet, he, bet he's like, oh yeah, lads, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this, yeah, and then I'm gonna do this, and he's there on YouTube going. Right, can I even hit these crabs? They're level 15. Of course I, mate, the XP, Dave, you hit once, you get 20 XP. Oh, we've got a water strike here, you ready? I must admit these crabs are proving quite quite strong against us. So we're gonna we're gonna switch it up and probably merc somebody Oh there's level five monks here. That can uh, prove nice actually. Um we'll get a stats up here. Do you fucking mind, fam? Our next task after wrapping up these couple of stats here, if we have a look at the quest points, there is like a couple of Zaya quests that we can do and looking at the rewards they give very good rewards at least very silly not to do these quests and here we have a 20 attack there's another task completed let's very quickly get ourselves 20 defense you know what fuck defense right we're about to start the client of Karenda. I'll bring you back with the reward you better have feathers pal oh my god what fishing supply shop doesn't sell feathers where am I supposed to get a feather from? Where the fuck's a chicken? <gasps> right, so there's two Inventor Silk Dawn. I'm going to leave that for now, I think. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get the stuff out for the client of Karend, which is basically just that. And I'll take some coinage with me and some food as well. Where are Rune Thoughts born on RuneScape? Ho, Sidious. Ho! What's the best thing to bring on a burglary? Giant fucking bat! Boom, there is Client of Karend completed. Obviously, we get the two XP lamps. For the lamps, I've heard Hunt is a pain in the arse to train from low level, so I'm gonna go for that. Second of all, I wanna steal axe for Winter Tart, and I hate smithing, so whether that's the right decision or not, who fucking knows? 15 smithing. For my favor, I think I'm gonna pick Piscarillus, as from my understanding, that is the worst one to gain, so I'm gonna do that right now. Yes, read that bad boy, and boom, that should be 20%. In terms of what I'm going to do now, there are a lot of tasks in relation to getting the library books, which I believe gets your magic up. So we're probably going to go there, turn in a couple books. I don't know what, how... 100 books sounds like a lot, so I don't know whether we'll do 100. It just depends how quick the levels are, because I want to at least get 40 magic. I'd say 60, but I think it might take too long, and I want to be... Um, efficient with making sure we're at least getting 40s in a lot of skills claim points as well 70 league points boys hello look at all these books mate you know what i mean more books in a fucking library uh, well it is a library there you go look at this we'll do mage first magic how much xp is that it a lot of running around this is good job i got that endless endurance both on the field and off boom there we go we get two antique lamps so the next quest we have to do is the ascent of Arceus. So to start the next quest, we need uh, twelve hunter. 
So if this works, please work. Does work. Two and a half K gets us to 15 hunter. We can now do the RK Uth quest. But, but we need 20 Arcus favor as well, which should get us 20% just from that. Boom. We can now go and start a quest. Running up bloody Mordor here. Yeah? Can I get a task? Sand crabs, 34 sand crabs. I can do Slayer. And that was a task as well, lovely. Oh, I'm a god, and I like getting people at steel cakes. Fucking get a life. Right, that'll do for my Slayer task. We're outie. We are well and truly outie. We've got 34 sand crabs to kill. I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill them uh, with my current setup. But it's the best I've got at the moment, okay? Boom. 20 defense, there's another league task done. I'm going to kill this one rock crab and move on to win it hard, I think, because oh, this, this just isn't viable. Like, it'll take, it's going to take me at least 45 minutes, probably about half an hour to do this task. And I can do it so much quicker if I get some money and then do it with mage instead. Yeah. Cheeky fucker. Mate! Cut the tree! I just light the fire, pal. Just light the fire. It's not difficult. Bear Grylls can do it with a fucking belly fluff, right? You can do it. 20 wood cutting. Another league task done. Is that another 10 points? I th think it is. Right. I am going on an absolute whim here, right? With 31 smithing, you can make a steel axe. And I have noticed up here on the map... There's a little mining site here, and there's a furnace here and here. So I'm thinking, getting 31 shouldn't take too long. And there's also an anvil there. So if I just keep doing this, hopefully I don't need bloody favour to use this place. If I keep doing that, then I should be able to get my seal axe fairly quickly, because it's going to save me a lot of time, and it's also going to get me a couple of points towards my task. You know what my favourite tourist attraction is? Buckingham Palace. Do you know who my favourite wrestler is? Book a tea. Right, we've got a full inventor of books. Let's just rinse this on magic XP. Right, so after that, we're just short of 30 already. I think we've only been here about 15 minutes around that anyway. Uh, gonna do a couple more books, get to 40. That way we're then, have I already got that? <laughs> Fucking easy, lads. Um, we're gonna do get to 40 magic. That way we'll get the points boots from the magic. We'll also get 40 rune crafting. Depending on how many books I've got, um, I think you get 50 points for collecting 100 books. So if we manage to get that, then it would work out perfectly. We'd get the points from 40 magic, 40 rune crafting, and then the points from 100 books. So it would work out absolutely stupendously, boys. To be fair though, I do feel like quite at home in this library because I do, I come here quite a lot with my girlfriend, to be fair. Not the RuneScape library, just in general. We like learning and stuff. So me and my girlfriend go down there. Uh, my girlfriend's name's um, Paige. Oh, that's St. Jensen. You've won today. I'm going out. See you later, boys. I've just fucking... I've just won the game. Oh, my God. Right, another invent of books coming in. We're going to go for magic again. Hopefully, this will get us 40. There we go. 40 magic. That's going to give us how many points? Yeah, we don't give a shit. 50 points. Uh, the rest now, we're going to do the same for room crafting. Get that to 40. I've just done it on magic. Idiot. Uh, and see where we're at after that. As you can see, I'm now a friend of the House Archaeus. And I mean, I've just been trolling getting these books for you for fucking three hours, mate. I thought we'd be more than fucking friends. Do you know what I mean? I thought I would have had you in my bed by this point, in my player-owned house. But never mind. If training runecrafting was like this on the main game, let me tell you. I'd have 200 mil by now. That's a joke. I fucking hate runecrafting. Here we have a 15 mining, which means we can now mine iron, which is probably going to give us like 120 XP. Oh, look at this. Every bit of iron is free. Everyone's gone to the other spot, haven't they? Oh, league task, 250 total level. How many points do I get for that? I'm guessing like 10. 10 points. Boom, 100 points. Honestly, all this for a steel axe so I can cut some logs a bit, bit quicker. The return on this invent is unbelievably bad. Look at this. Come on, XP. 63, decent. That's for, that's for bronze. Come on, iron knives, how much XP? Come on, 100 odd. 125, that's more like it. Oh, is the steel bar. And here is a 31 smithing. We can now make... Oh, I can actually make a steel sword as well. Axe. Boom. There it is. Boom. 31 cutting. Come on, tell me you get... Yes, you do. 45 making is another task. 
Is that another 10 points? I haven't collected these in a while. 45 make it. Reward 50 points. 50. Bruv. Bruv. Who the fuck do you think you are? Grow school, bruv. What a fucking guy. Who the fuck are you? I need to be getting 40 starts. All day, every day. I need 40 starts. 50 points. Are you joking? Win it, Todd. Boom. We'll get 40 Fletcher at Win it, Todd. No problem. We're going to get a house for that construction XP. Try to get some levels that way, no problem. That's another set of books, and we are currently 24 rune crafting. Probably another one or two, I'd say. You've been 20 elite points, you are now two. What's that from? Oh, from getting level 20, I think. 37 rune crafting, and we just turned in our 100th book, so that's an extra 10 points. So uh, I probably won't come back here again, unless I'm struggling for some more points. I could come back here and get 60 mage. Uh, it depends how long that would take, though. I'm assuming it'd take probably over an hour, which I don't really fancy, to be honest. And this, ladies and gents, will be our last book. So we're going to turn this in now for our runecrafting experience, and that should be 40. Uh, there's another task done. In terms of what we're going to do now, I, want, I don't want to do this anymore, to be honest. I think 60 mage may take a while. So we're going to leave that for now. We've got 50 points for level 40 runecrafting, which is very nice. What I'm going to do now, I'm probably going to get the favour to be able to steal from the fruit stalls, because you can get some um, decent tasks done with some more points there and then once we've done that get ourselves to 40 there's another 50 points um and then also pickpocket a master farmer which is another 10 points as that's another task so listen i've got this all fucking planned out boys and girls you know what i mean don't doubt me just gonna sell our silk now which we thieved earlier that gives us 3.2k which will come in use later on it's always nice to have a bit of cash boys and girls just ploughing the fields for a little bit of Hasidious favour. Um, talking of ploughing, that reminds me, you need to speak to Dave's mum again soon. <laughs> Colour me kettle. <laughs> ah, uh, I thought it was 5%, it's 15%. Oh, what's that, Jen? You're going to mine some salt, Peter? Yes, it fucking looks like I am. This guy, what an idiot. Oh my god, it auto-digs, I've been clicking all day. <laughs> Imagine just having spam clicking, thinking that you have to spam click it when the reality is you just have to click it once. <clears throat> <clears throat> Imagine. This should be all the favour we need. 15%. Fucking lovely job. Let's get our ass back to that stall. Fred! Fred! What am I saying? What am I doing? Hey, there's that fucking Golova Nova. <laughs> Golova Nova. We got the fruit. 10 points. Know what I mean? Here is 40 thieving. Gonna get ourselves another 50 points, is it? Uh, yeah, 50 league points. We're going to find ourselves a master farmer somewhere. And then if we pickpocket... Hell, hello. This should give us an extra 10 points. Oh, fuck off. There we go. Another... Oh, 50 points. Fucking hell. Take that every day of the week. Another 50 points. 40 wood cutting. Thank you. And here it is. Finally, 50 fire making. We can now go and do Winter Todd. I think it's every 20 levels you get the point. So, obviously, I need food for this. So, I'm thinking, how about I go make some chickens with range? Get my fishing and cooking very quickly to 40, which would be 120 points. And then we can move on to the Winter Todd and then start working on the combat stats with the coins that we get from there. That is what I'm thinking. Hopefully, it goes to plan. Uh, I don't actually know what you can fish here, but I do know salmon and trout are available somewhere. Of course, I can't access the warren. These bastards going to attack me. Oh my god, every plan I have just just gets destroyed instantly. Fuck that off. I'm going I'm going winter frog. Here's the issue. We can't get a house until we got 1000 coins and I got I've got 69 again. Lads. Can't we go winter tower no gear, can we? The plan here is to get, I don't know, 60, I don't, maybe 80 if it's quick, but 60 fire making, couple of coins, and then we can buy ourselves some runes and maybe some gear and start actually doing some slayer and something a bit more interesting. Oh my god, is that, where are the coins? Where are my coins? Right, the plan now is getting to winter tot. So first of all, I'm going to level my mining up to be able to get iron, turn the iron into bars once I can mine that, um, and then smith our way to... Uh, what is it for a steel axe? 31 smithing, which shouldn't be too bad. Um, it might take a while. Luckily, obviously, we're, we're quite deep into Twisted League now, so there isn't too many competition for the iron rocks. So that should be fine. 
house every weekend house every weekend house every weekend do -do 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 I had to sell a few cakes, boys, but there is a steel pickaxe. We need some more ores in here. We need some more ores in here. There's too many man, too many, many man. Too many man, too many, many man. Mate, it's meant to be 50-50. I've done five in a row. What is this? Tw 27 ore and I get eight bars back. Fucking conned me, you dwarf bat. It was not really stuff. It's my shit. What the fuck? Here he fucking is. The hungry furnace. Just making my bars now. We're actually halfway through the challenge. I it feels like I've not done anything. Like, it feels like I've barely even played. Uh, I've gone with the iron knife route just so I can level up my range if it does, if I do have time to do it, that is. There it is. Steel axe. Completed. And if it was by magic, on 420 blaze it, we get 40 mining. And that is also going to be 50 league points. And we get a new relic. Oh, hello. Right, let's have a look at the relics. I don't, I've never actually seen these ones. Right, I think I think Hardcore Harvester is is the one. I'm going to go with Hardcore. Yeah, fucking banter. Boom. There is 60 fire making. Burn new logs. How many points do we get? It's 50 again. Okay. 6.7k. That's what we've been after. 70 fire making. Don't think we get anything for that. No, it's going to be 80. I probably won't get 80 fire making. Um, I think... I'm going to just play around with the Fletcher and just see if I like it, how, how it goes past 30. I feel like it's going to get slow because my XP is only going up by 3 every time. So, here we go. Boom. 4K. It's not the best. It's not the best. We're going to have a little break um, and let's just see what we can do. We've got about 14K in the bank, which is better than nothing. It's not as much as I was hoping for, but it's a start. Uh, we're going to go spend roughly 9k on runes. And then we're sorted for a bit on the old uh, mage front. We can go do them sand crabs. And we can also go kill that boss for the quest as well. That is XP. We just got ourselves a 20 slayer on the 5 hour mark. Which is another 10 points. We're almost 40 mage. So that's going to be another 50 points. Boys and girls we are taking a detour. Uh, now that we're 20 Slayer, I'm quite far off 40. Is What are the odds of me getting a Rune Skimitar drop? What are the odds of that? I am getting so much XP from these. And they're actually going down fairly quickly as well. Yeah, that's just fucking ideal, isn't it? Oh, hello. 40 magic. Another 50 points, please. Thank you. Right, we're looking at maybe one more, one or two more fire giant kills after this one. Uh, I don't want to spend too long here because we have only got such a short period of time left. What are we going to get? Oh my god. Why would someone do that to me? Why would he do that? Why would you do that, Don Thing Kill? Alright, here we are, lads, to do a bit of fire making and fletching. I did see people hunting these alongside when they were chopping trees. Um, I just need to find out where you get the actual snares from. I think there must be like a hunter shop somewhere. So I will do a little bit of research whilst I hop onto the bank to get myself a bronze axe because I can't use me bloody steel one yet. Well, it turns out they're actually right fucking here. That's convenient. I thought I was going to have to trek all the way to somewhere. So that works out perfectly. Can train some hunter as well. Right, there is a 20 hunter and we've also got... Did I get points for that? Yeah, I did. 20 hunter and 20 fire making. So we've got 10 points each respectively for that. Still doing my wood cut in. And listen, I'm just balancing out things. I'm skilling like fucking autumn energy. One minute and fire making. One minute and fletching. The next minute... Ooh! Copper long tails on the fucking burner. Boom. And this is 50 fire making, which means we can now go to winter top. What I'm actually going to do instead is, for now, I'm probably just going to work on 40 hunter quickly. Uh, and whilst I'm waiting for the birds to stick on the fucking snares, uh, I would cut and fletch whatever I get, basically. Uh, I'm going to be getting fletch and we'll cutting up while I'm at winter top. But I just thought I may as well get the extra 50 points from getting 40 uh, hunter while I'm here. Did somebody say 40 Hunter? There we go. That's in about 50 points added on there. Uh, 500 total level. Did we get any points for that? Doesn't. Oh, yeah, we get an extra 10 points. That's sick. Um, so now, boys, we're going to head over to Wintertop. I am very, very close to 40 Woodcutting, which is an additional 50 points. Also, not too far off 40 Fletching, which I will get at Wintertop. Another 50 points. Gotcha, bitch. <sighs> 
Right, that's enough thieving for me for now. We've got 35, we're five levels off to 50 points. Uh, I'm going to go wrap up the mining dead quick, get 40. And then at the same time, I'm going to complete the Ascent of Arceus quest. We're about to get ourselves some big levels here. So, 20 on there, 15 room crafting. And here is the Shazian favor. 20%. Which means we can now spend our money and get ourselves some nice little weapons. Mithril Scimitar, 1k, bargain. We've got two hours left to get 40 attack, strength, defense, maybe range, and hit points. That there is 200 points. Boom! 40 mining. And here is 20 range coming in. Nice easy 10 points. Back to the old uh, attack. Come on, Kona, do me good. Do me good. 20 cows. That's not good. And there is 30 attack, which means... Boom! There is another 50 points. We're going to get the attack and then the defense. 40 hit points. There is another 50 points. That's back-to-back -back 100 points. 40 attack. I, I was tempted to move on to range, which would be a lot quicker, but I only have 225 knives. I don't believe... That is enough to get me 40. I may try it though. I might try. Uh, I just got my first easy clue scroll. Boom. 40 defense. We have now got 24 minutes to get ourselves 5 thieving levels. 40 thieving, which is another 50 points. We go ahead now on our task and click claim points. We're currently on 450. 710. Right, so the only thing I can do now for the last 10 minutes is... Try and get 40 range with what knives I have. Right, we are coming to the end of... Wow, well, we just got a level, so we'll end it there, I'm afraid. And there we have 40 woodcut in. That puts us on 650 league points so far, so everything's going uh, pretty fucking Gucci. The fact that I've got the um, relic as well, which gives you times three resources... Lads, I am blitzing through this. I need to start fletching them though for 40 fletching, but I'll, I'll start that soon. And now we have it. We've done two games and we've got 65 making from 50, which is ridiculous. I mean, we could even go for 80 in the time we've got. What points do you actually get for... I'm assuming that's going to be in a hard... You get, eight, you get 100 points for an 80 stat, but I don't know if I'll be able to get it in time. If I went for 80, at the minute, I'm, I'm about 1.2 mil XP an hour. So I think it's about... 2 mil XP for 80, so it's doable, but it would be, I mean, it's probably going to be quicker than that anyway, because I'd be gaining XP, so I'd be getting more XP an hour as I got further further up in level, but I don't know whether to risk it or not, but because 100 points, it'd be a lot better than getting 10, 10, 10 in a lot of these ones, because I've not got that much time left, so I am tempted to risk it. I'm going to open my crates while I'm here, actually. Here it's rubies. Any pieces? Coins is fine. And there, ladies and gents, is 40 fletching. Puts us on 70, 60 league points. Um, I, I should just about make 80 fire making if I fucking nail it and go for it. Uh, I'm going to stop fletching now. So, fingers crossed, boys. I'm going to take the fucking risk. If I don't hit 80, it could lose me the video. That's the bottom line. Two crates. What are we saying? A pet or what? Myth. Mm, not ideal. Fuck's sake. Ladies and gentlemen, there is 80 fire making, 100 league points, 860. I'm not going to lie, I'm pretty proud of that. I'm going to finish this last game off, and once we're done, we'll open the remaining crates. Nope. 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 Well, that was fun, wasn't it? Right, I just took a look through the easy task list. The only real thing I could do is bank at where the raids bank is for 10 points. But by the time I run over there, it's an absolute trek. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to take the iron knives, which I smithed before. And I'm just going to go for 20 range really quickly. And to wrap things up, boom, there we go. 20 range, that's an extra 10 league points, which puts us at a grand total of 870. Uh, I've got about two and a half minutes left, so I've not really got enough time to do anything else. Um, overall final stats... 20 in all the combats basically, um, we've got 40 magic, 40 rune crafting, um, the majority of our points coming from like the hunter, the the thieving, mining etc, and then obviously winter top, we also got quite 
a decent amount of points from the Arceus library. I think that was the best thing to do. So overall, I'm pretty happy. I'd be surprised if Dave beats me here. I'm going to be honest. I'd be surprised if if, it, if it's anything like Dave does, he'll just fucking wing it like an idiot, like he always does. And it never works for these challenges. It never fucking works. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back after the eight hours. Is that the real Vitoso in Tanzu? Um, first of all, <laughs> swap the names around. It's Tanzu Vitoso. Do you know what I mean? Well, it should be Vitoso Tanzu because I'm number one. Anyway, we are back after the eight hours. We've got a guy with a wizzy, wizzy hat G on. Uh, we've got a massive amount of crowds waiting to see who the winner is and who's got the most points, David. So, hey, why would you stand? Run the stands to the side. First of, all, walls. first of all, how'd you find it? Uh, honestly... Um, I winged it as per, Great. but I don't think I did that bad, and I'm not being funny, but this is the first challenge video in ages where I'm genuinely quite nervous. Really? Lad, I'm shaking a bit. Like, it's close. I, I, no, because I think I've done alright, but I've not planned it, and I didn't plan it, and I think I did alright. I think if I planned it, I would have beat you, but I don't know if I beat you, so I think I've done alright, if you know what I mean. I think if Are you Are you right? Close, I don't have a fucking clue what you're going on about. <laughs> Jen! People can pause the video and break what I've just said down. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying. Get your fucking points up. Lad, I want you to put your points in the chat. And then I want you to put a slash with how many tasks you've completed. Don't matter about the tasks though, it's just points, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the main thing is the points. The person with the most points wins. The tasks is just... No, no so. bonus points for tasks completed, no? No. Three, two, one, Come on. Come on. go. Oh my god. I have fucking nailed you. Oh my god, how? I need to. Well, first of all, you come back 48. No, because I went for 40 stats because they give 50 points. 40 attack, 40 strength, 40 defense, 34 range, couldn't get 40. Right, so. Uh, yeah, go, go down, go down, we'll, we'll compare. 10 prayer. So I got 20 prayer. I got 20 attack, strength, defense, range. Right. 40 mage. I got 43. 40 rune crafting. <gasps> what? Arceus, Arceus Library. See, I thought about that, but I didn't bother. 40 teething. 40. Did you do the pickpocket Master Farmer? There's 50, ah! there's 50 points gone, you fucking drongo. <laughs> oh. Seven crafting. It seems like you've got better stats than me, but I've somehow got more I points. Oh. I have. What's that? Jen, tell me the task. How? This is what I mean. My stats are good. The stats one. I... Did you do the yeah. ba bank at land's end? 10 points? No. There you go. Uh, did you do the client at Kren quest? Yeah. That was 10 points. Turning one library book, 10 points. Turning 10 library points, 10 points. Turning 25 library books, 10 points. Turning 50 library books, 10 points. Turning 100 library books, 10 points. Okay, so there's like, yeah, so there's like fucking 50 points you missed out Yeah, on. but this is the part I don't get. Like, I got 40 attacks of defense HP. That's 200 points there. Did somebody say forfeit? David, 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 since you were unsuccessful in your eight-hour journey, that does well, mean... Well, was unsuccessful. Well, you were, because you fucking lost. You're going to have to do a forfeit, pal. Um, the forfeit for this episode is going to be a 1 to 10 item pick, Dave. I want you to get 10 items from the bank, from your gear tab, ranging in value. I want... Dave, you took my armor legs, lad, so I want between 3 and 50 mil here of items. Yeah? Put them Minimum in... Minimum 3 mil. Minimum 3, max 50. I've got 10 3 mil items. Right, I won. <laughs> I'm going to go for number 10, Dave. Tom... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Is that bad? Can I change? Right. No. You... You, can't change... you can't change your answer. Right, I'll do it in order for you. 1, 2, <laughs> Fuck 3, sake. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Oh, number 10. Wait, that's not bad. That's not the worst item, is it? Nah, no, I'm still 27 mil up from you, though. Fuck's sake. Fuck there you go. Sake. Keep that. I got that. I actually got that as a drop from Abby Demon, so that's quite precious to me, actually. Oh, that was quite sentimental, don't, don't was it? it? Quite sentimental. Don't... You fucking hard battles, do you? Don't you dare. <laughs> Fuck off, Jen! La da da da! Fuck off! <laughs> no, but you haven't actually altered it, have you? Keep the change. What's in your room, then, space? Oh my god. Look at the value as well. You keep the change, lad. Keep the change, lad. <laughs> You're a prick. <laughs> You're actually a prick. Welcome to Elder Scrolls Challenges. Dave's a dickhead. <laughs>
Dave. Do you want me? I'm kidding. I'm going to fight like that. I swear to fucking God. Dave, no. Don't include this in the video. Dave, do not. Dave. Dave, no. This isn't fun. That's a step too far. Is it? Is it? I mean, I've just asked you not to do that and you've done it. Yeah, but it's 7 mil versus. Jets, what are the odds on these going? What are the odds on these going? They're not fucking going. Well, they are. And I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm even going to low Alchem. Keep the change, pal. Keep the change. <laughs> There's no fucking way. Keep the change. What? No, what's your other slot? My ring. Gotta trade the ring. The explorer's ring, can I? Keep the change, pal. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode. All the challenges. Dave just out me fucking armadillo chain skirt. And I won the challenge, which makes no sense whatsoever. Like, I mean, I wanted to win that back, but clearly Dave's a fucking prick, so. Go out my fucking dagger then. Ask you don't do something, don't do it. Well, you know what I like to ask to do, Dave? And that's for the people at home to click that subscribe button and subscribe oh God, to the honestly, Toso and Tanzu. That's worse than a bad joke. Thank you very much for watching, boys and girls, and we'll see you in the next one.